What's up, my friends? My name's Eric, and I got another review for you today. Today's card of the day, Deathcap Cultivator. One in a green gets you a 2-1 human druid. Tap, add black or green to your mana pool. Delirium, he has death touch. I like this card a lot because with the not so recent, but I'm going to say recent anyway, recent changes to the game, supposedly we are not going to have any more Land War Elf or Elvish Mystic anymore. No more one drops that just make mana. I believe that this is really going to happen because when I heard it, it was a rumor and I'm like, there's no way. But then we get the one out of uh, Origins, which is crap, where he had to be renowned before he could tap for mana. He cost one, but he had to jump through this extra hoop. Nobody's going to go with that. That card never saw play. I liked it for casual decks, and I believe he was a druid as well, so I liked him for that. Or he's a shaman. I liked his creature typing. I know that. Uh, but I don't think people are going to go for that. People are just going to go and play this one, which is two mana for, you know, a mana guy. And that's perfectly acceptable to me because he makes two colors. Now, if Mystic, uh, Elvish Mystic and Land War Elves cost two mana, fuck them. Let's just play something that takes a land from the deck at two mana. You know, I believe those exist. They're commonly seen at three, but I mean, look at how big Sakura Tribe Elder was. So, anyway, two mana for a guy that gives you black or green, love it. No, you know, lose a life or anything on that, which is usually how they go. And then we have the Death Touch as a possible thing. So even late game when you don't need him to make mana, he's still a 2-1 guy that will chump block and take out big things with him. Or the opponent might be a little scared to block him. And they'll look at it and go, it's just 2 damage, whatever. And then, you know, in black you can kill their blockers so you can get through no problem to finish a game. Or in green, you can surprise them with big power and, you know, overrun them. I think that it's a really nice thing to have Death Touch. Early in the game, kind of irrelevant, but you know what? The mana is useful early game. Late game, mana is kind of irrelevant. Death Touch is where it comes into play. I think it's very finely tuned and very well balanced. I like it a lot. So, for my rating in draft, I'm going to go 3.5 because the mana is not a big deal, but in draft, if you happen to have something big in your hand and you get it down one turn quicker, it's draft. I mean, come on, we all know draft. Limited card pools, there aren't going to be so many answers. And if you get it down one turn faster, that's pretty solid play right there. Standard, another 3.5 because of all the same reasons I said. Even though the opponent has more to choose from, so do you. And you'll be able to definitely ramp into something a little bit faster. And I like that a lot. Ramp is always good. Nobody's going to argue against that. Modern, a 3. Uh, I don't think he'll be played too much unless it's kind of some weird niche deck, but that doesn't mean he's useless because he's still a mana dude. But with Modern, most of the time, your mana dudes are going to cost 1 or preferably 0 Chrome Mox or um, Mox Opal. You know, people play the 0 cost ones to give mana. EDH, I'm going to give a 2.5 because the black green deck could always use more mana fixing. Since uh, they're enemy colors, they don't have as many dual lands as the allied colors. We all know this. We accept it. Doesn't hurt to have this guy in there. And again, late game, death touch. You know, an EDH is not going to be hard to get delirium active, you know. So he'll be able to take down big guys late game, and EDH is full of them. We all know this. That's what I'd say about Death Cap Cultivator. If you agreed with me, give the video a like. If you disagree, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of it? If you want to hear more reviews from me, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Doesn't cost you a thing, I swear. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.